Well, hello again, you guys. Sorry for all the annoying videos, but this is what I do for you guys. It's January 10th, 2023, and it's starting to become a steady snow now. I'm still, I'm uploading a video right now that hasn't even posted yet um, of the transition from rain to sleet to snow. Pretty cool to watch that happen. And I was, uh, I drove up to Upper Moon Ridge to try to see if, if we could get lucky to make that happen so we could be recording the transition. And you know what? I pulled it off just perfectly, so that was great. I was super excited about that. So right now, as you can see, we're starting to get some accumulation out here. It's not gonna be much. I anticipate maybe a half an inch to an inch before this is done, but it could be a couple inches. I'm going with my own predictions looking at the radar. And crazy enough, I've been pretty spot on. So I figured we would drive around the lake. And this will be the part of town for the most part that has the least amount of snow compared to where we're going. Because we're gonna be end, we're, we're gonna end up going over by the dam at one point once we drive through Fonskin. starting to look like how I like it to look out here. Just wintry. It really does change the landscape, guys, doesn't it? It just, it can turn any place into something beautiful. It could even, like, ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. It's amazing how as soon as I come out here, we're getting a little bit of that grapple slash sleet mixed in. But I bet by the time we get to the dam, it'll be 100% snow again. Literally right when I came outside to do this video, it was because of 100% transition. But it's definitely enough for it to be uh, sticking. And that's good. The temperature right now is 33 degrees. Looks like we have a little bit of traffic in Fonskin over there. Maybe there's an accident. I hope everyone's okay. But yeah, usually we won't go this direction during storms to go around the lake, you guys. And the reason being is because when we come into town or when we get, get to the dam, that's where everyone enters town. So usually we want to be going against the grain. But yeah, so let me turn up the windshield heat, the defroster a little more. Let's have a nice, safe drive. This is Stanfield Cutoff. We're turning left on Stanfield Cutoff from Big Bear Boulevard. If you make a right, it's called Starvation Flats. Okay, we're gonna roll down the window, but we're gonna get blasted with snow because it's blowing straight across the lake right here. Wow, you can't see anything out there. That's all snow falling. That's beautiful. And I'm getting hammered. Just hammered, but you guys are worth it. And then this side of town, same thing, hardly any visibility. Got some birds out here having a great time. Good for them. Good for the birds. So once we get to the dam, that's where most of you will start to recognize where we're at. But we're doing a complete drive around the lake just to see what, what, the, what, what the snow's like in most of the touristy areas around here. Now 
while we're on North Shore. It says chains required, four wheel drive with snow tires, okay. I can't believe they're requiring chains already, that's a joke. But it's what it says, guys, so be prepared. Hopefully we can get around the lake pretty quickly. I'm assuming we can do this drive in 30 minutes with all the snow and a couple cars we gotta deal with. Beautiful. We love to see this. At least I do. I know you guys do. So yeah, once again, it's January 10th, 2023 in Big Bear, California, San Bernardino National Forest, and we are on uh, North Shore. Yay. Thanks, buddy. snow tires kick butt but I hope I don't speak too soon when there's no traffic I go a little bit faster than I should even in the snow and ice but yeah the further we go this direction the more snow we're gonna run into especially once we get through fawn skin there should be a bit more There's a little traffic by the dam, unfortunately. Dang it. That just popped up. Dang it, dang it. Dang it, dang it. Probably people parked in the middle of the street putting on tire chains. That's what I'm willing to bet. Let's bet a gentleman's bet on that, guys. We're making great time, so at this rate, we should probably be there in about 15 minutes. So we'll push that button, turn it off. It's got three different levels of seat heating and three different levels of seat cooling. <coughs> I've only used the seat coolers once so far. But I'm looking forward to summertime to using them. Okay, so we're in Fonskin now. Not downtown Fonskin, but in the neighborhoods. I've always loved this place right here. I don't know 
why I just always have. Here's the lake. We're right on the lake right here. I'm really hoping all this precipitation we get this season does something to the lake because it still looks really low. We let so much water out of this lake every day because of our obligation for irrigation water down the hill that we're contracted by. So it sucks. If you go behind the dam, it's like white water rapids coming out of the lake 24 seven. I mean, I don't even know how we maintain this much water, to be honest, with all the water that leaves the dam every day, especially with 300 plus days of sunshine up here per year. Yeah, it's mind boggling how we actually have this much water left. But that beach is way down there. It's just not normal. It should come all the way up here, almost to the road. Oh, the traffic is done by the lake, or by the dam. See that? Sweet. There we are, the northern part of the lake. like a fun road right now straight ahead not coming down though doesn't look too much fun coming down splash good thing we have a windshield <laughs> I used to ride my motorcycle in these conditions you guys not my Harley my uh, street bike when I worked at Bear Mountain because I didn't have a vehicle that worked for a while I, I had a Saturn L200 and it wasn't cutting it and then it broke down on me so I bought a small engine little street bike brand new it was like four grand but I drove that to work in snow conditions like this. Such an idiot I am. Okay, now we're in downtown Fonskin, folks. As I always say, don't blink because you'll miss it. There's Freddy Krueger's house. Jeez Louise. <clears throat> I was hoping these cars in front of us wouldn't be uh, driving around the lake. I thought that they'd be staying here in Fonskin somewhere, but it looks like we're following them around the lake. Here's the Fonskin post office right here. But you can see there's more snow over here already. And the further we go this direction, the more snow we're gonna run into. It's like clockwork, it really is. We're passing the eagle habitat. Got some huge puddles up here. It's a 
nice lake view usually. It'd be nice to sit in this house and just stare out the window over the lake while it's snowing like this. Gosh, that would be great. That would be great. Who knows, maybe in like 10 years, this YouTube channel will pay for that. Who knows? I better start asking people to subscribe, you know, <laughs> or hit like or something. But I don't feel comfortable doing that. I just don't, I feel like I'm begging. And if you really love what you do, things will happen. I know you gotta put some effort into it too and try to take advantage of certain things, but I like keeping it very authentic with you guys. I don't like begging you guys for anything. I know I would have a lot more subscribers if I asked people. But I kind of figured that people by this time know what the heck to do, you know? You don't need to ask people to do that because they just assume that if they like the channel, then they're going to subscribe. But I'm one who's really bad at that. I watch certain like, like MMA channels for news and stuff like that, for MMA news a lot. And I don't subscribe to them. Wish the weather radar went across this screen that would be awesome but it does go across my cell phone so i'll put my i'll put the, put the weather screen on okay one second so you guys can see the radar Best part of town for service. There we go. It's almost uploaded. That little blue arrow, that's us. And then where it's blue right there. So we'll go through it one more time. Yeah, this is all gonna end pretty pretty soon. car is telling me to keep my eyes on the road. I know this is lagging a little bit, but it'll get through. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Forget it. We'll do it a little bit later, once we get around to the other side of the lake. Some little rock slides here. Beautiful little lake view. expect these guys to be driving around the lake when there's no traffic in town it only makes sense for like me who's doing these videos me 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 it's all about me so we got some pretty good snow coverage over here I like I like I mean, of course, it's nothing special compared to what we want. Okay, let's see here. 
There we go. We'll let it run through one more time, if it if it will for us. There we go. Sorry about not holding it as steady as I could. I'm doing the best I can. So we got some heavy uh, snow showers coming through pretty quickly here. We are officially at the dam, you guys. And there's the dam down there below. We're basically driving over the dam, over part of the dam in a minute. Sometimes when there's snow on the ground, you're not gonna be able to, oh, here we go. You, the sensors sometimes won't be activated. So you'll sometimes uh, have to do what you don't want to do which is run the light but when I've waited here two or three different like changeovers from green to red green to red green to red then I've gone usually it's when we have really deep snow oh, this is great guys there is nobody up here Woo! It's our own playground again. So those of you on this channel, get your butts up here though. I want you guys up here for sure. It's pretty crazy. The temperature has been maintaining at 33 this whole time. waterfall right there that's so cute it's the cutest little waterfall that was pretty adorable driving like champs today. Woohoo. All we ever ask, and it's the law also, even if we're going too fast, if someone's on your tail, never speed up, you guys, because that's going to get you in a lot of trouble. That's when accidents happen, when you're trying to appease faster drivers. Just pull over at the next possible spot to let them pass and then get on your way again. And if you have to do that 10 times within a 10 mile period, do it. Trust me, it'll make your life so much easier and so less, so much less stressful. It's kind of an oxymoron. Um, it will. Because a lot of times people get, get upset and then they go slower and then it, it, it just creates more of a problem and you get more anxious and we don't want that for you guys. As I always tell you guys, we want you to have a good time up here. I want you to enjoy yourselves. I want you to be safe. I don't want you to have to pay for vehicle damage going back down. You guys deserve just to have a good time. Period. Hey, you guys want to hear a really stupid joke? It's a joke that my dad told me when I was little. As you guys know, my dad's a, a retired doctor. 
He's 90 years old. He'll be 91 next month. I can't believe it. But uh, so here's the stupid joke. Name three cars that start with P. I'll give you guys a second. Or I'll pretend like I'm you, I'm you guys, okay. Uh, Porsche, uh, Pontiac, and Prius. And then the punchline is, no silly, no cars start with P, they only start with gasoline. <laughs> so stupid. All right, here we go. We're hitting some slower people. Here's Boulder Bay. Gonna roll down the window to get some better views of Boulder Bay. This part of town is so gorgeous. I better roll up the window. We're gonna get smashed by these guys in the other lane with their puddle making, or their puddle crashing, I should say. Guarantee you all of this slow traffic right here is because of one vehicle. People who think the world revolves around them. And I'm not I'm not trying to like be arch and complain. I'm really not, even though it sounds like, well yeah, I guess I am a little bit. But uh if they pull over and get out of the way and let other people pass, then everyone will get to their destination sooner. Because going this much slower really does impact your travel. It's not like it's you're going from 40 to 35. You're going from 35 to 10. And now, seven. Driving up here is a lot different, you guys. It's, as I said, it, instead of... Uh, playing the the role of uh oh if you're gonna tailgate me i'm just gonna slow down that's down the mountain don't do that up here as i said i don't want you guys to get hurt i don't want people to get too anxious driving and then make some abrupt moves that can really give you a bad day the best thing to do up here and trust me i am one who plays those games too so i'm i'm not counting myself out of that but I've become a lot better up here because of you guys calling me on things. Just let people pass and then get on your way once they pass. And as I said, if right when you get back on the road, someone comes whistling up right behind you and you're like, geez Louise, like what the heck? Just pull over again and let them by. It doesn't matter if they're going 60. You got to let them go. And for the last time, I'll remind you guys, never, ever, ever, never speed up when someone's on your tail up here in these conditions, please. You guys are so valuable to me. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. Do not speed up because you will lose control. You will lose control. And I know we're, we're only speeding up to appease other people to be nice, to try to make their day better by not holding them up, so. But yeah, as I was saying, this is one vehicle up here. Plenty of space to pull out, to pull over, but they aren't, they aren't gonna do it because the world revolves around them. What I used to do, you guys, in my many, many years back on, on these videos is I'd pass to the left here like an idiot. I would pass everybody like such a cool, a, a, coop and a tool. Look at this, that one brown SUV up there, or gray SUV. Plenty of space to pull over. I mean, plenty of space, but that's what happens is a lot of people, they get excited to come up here and then you get here and then you're frustrated by the time you get to your cabin because of so many inconsiderate people. But that's what causes our traffic jams right there. And I'll stop complaining about it. Because I feel like a baby right now. I need my binky. But I mean, can you guys, I, I told you I'd stop talking about it, but can you guys agree with me though? Like, 
like yeah we should be a little more patient but at, at the same time when there's so many places to pull out and you're just a total kook and not pulling out like isn't that kind of like aren't we in the right a little bit there I'm shocked that the temp is stuck and hovered at 33 this whole time. What I've noticed is that traffic that was at the dam has moved and this is what the traffic was. So that person has been holding everybody up for a long time. And yeah, I said I, I would shut up about it, so I will. I apologize to you guys. I try to maintain my composure the best I can. As I said, if, if you guys go back five, six, seven years, maybe eight years on this channel, I used to cuss people out and pass where I shouldn't pass and flip people off all the time. Like I was, that's what I was used to down the hill. <laughs> so I brought that up here, but you guys really set me straight. You guys really taught me some great lessons and gave me constructive criticism. Not just being jerks about it. You guys gave me real good constructive criticism. And when I get constructive criticism, that's when I tend to listen to what people have to say. It's when people are being jerks that it goes in one ear, out the other, and I'll do more to piss them off. At least that's who I used to be. But thank you guys for essentially turning me into a better man, a more patient man very thankful for each and every single one of you because you guys have had a huge impact on my life you guys have changed me in so many ways find the last video that i cussed on i mean seriously and as i said go back seven years eight years and everything i was talking about was f this f that because i never thought i would hit a thousand subscribers on this channel ever oh here's a snow play park you guys dead right now dead i don't even know if, if, if it's open it might be open if it is this would be the best time to go but yeah guys i used to every other word was a curse word and it's just unbecoming my behavior very unbecoming and as i said i never thought i would hit a thousand subscribers to even get monetized so my attitude was i don't care if you know but as i said i grew up a lot because of you guys I was forced to. And I'm very, very proud of who I'm turning into. I still have my moments, you guys, as as you just saw, but I didn't blare my horn. If I had my other car, I would have honked my train horn a couple times. I know I would have, just to kind of send a message. And that's uncalled for as well. Okay, so everyone's going left here. We're gonna go straight into the village. The village. Welcome to the village of Big Bear. I miss Florida. I miss seeing my dad. <laughs> I really miss him a lot. So guys, I have a playlist. It's the only playlist on this channel of all the lodging where I've stayed. And this is one of the spots I stayed in their biggest room they offer on the corner, in the corner up there, in the middle corner. It was like, I think 1100 square feet, one bedroom and a humongous living room. I forget what that place is called, but uh, yeah, you guys, if you're interested in seeing some of the, the places I've stayed and maybe get a good idea of where to stay, check out some of my lodging videos. So usually we'll, we would continue going. You know what? That's what we are going to do. We're going to take, take the back streets all the way to Moon Ridge, go through the neighborhoods and whatnot. I think that'll be great. Keep on teaching you guys these back routes to save you time. I've told you guys a million times that I get a lot of crap for that from locals, but all I expect is that you guys will behave yourselves, not speed, look out for children, respect the neighborhoods, and uh, 
you guys keep on being as awesome as you are. I will always do my best to make sure you guys have the best time you can possibly have up here. And trust me, avoiding traffic makes your stay a lot better. Those, those of you who come up here often, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So these people are all probably gonna turn left here unless they know this area. We were on, on Village Drive, now, now we're gonna cross here and uh, cross Knickerbocker and it turns into Pennsylvania Avenue. Passive aggressive, wasn't it? See, I'm, I still have my moments. So you're gonna want to stay on Pennsylvania until it dead ends. I'll show you guys where to turn. But you want to stay on this street until it dead ends. The chances of we seeing another car in front of us are very unlikely. The rest of the way to Moonridge. You'll see a bunch of signs like this that say no ski area access so then everyone would turn left here you just want to go right through as i said go the speed limit do whatever's safest for the conditions you're in watch out for kids for sure but enjoy these less traveled routes all right so this is jeffries so you're going to turn left on jeffries from pennsylvania avenue And then your first right is Oak Street. You're gonna turn right on Oak Street. And then we're gonna be turning left on Eureka. I've seen cars stuck on this little incline right here. So you want to get a good pace going to help prop you up or push you up to the top there. Another no ski area sign, ski area access. So you turn left on Eureka and then it, the road curves around at the end and turns into a street called McWinney. So just go to the very end and you're forced to take McWinney. Eureka turns into McWinney right here. On this corner, do not get too close to the edge here. You can't see it, but there is like a two and a half to three foot ditch right there. And cars get stuck there all the time. Oh, this is so beautiful, guys. This is so beautiful. Now we are at Wren, like Wren and Stimpy, W-R-E-N. I'm gonna turn left on Wren. If you turn right, you'll be at uh, Pine, uh, Pine Summit. It's a camp, camping, or something like that. All right, the windshield wiper's annoying. All right, now we're gonna turn right onto Brownie Lane, and then you'll stay on this until you hit Moon Ridge Road. And what did I tell you guys? We wouldn't see any more cars on this road in front of us. I got loose there on purpose. I'm telling you guys, it's so much fun driving in these conditions if you know what you're doing. Once again, going back years, every turn I was drifting. Like you see this stop sign way up here, I'd start turning now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not, not that dramatic, but you know, I'd be going a lot faster than I'm going now because as I said, I was rude. I was used to the driving down the mountain 
so the slower driving really irked me. A bunch of professional boxers live there. Triple G. I, someone told me, and I, I totally forgot which, which letter that guy is again. But I think that was it. He used to live there and, and fight out of there. And my old best friend, Nick, fights in the, the bare knuckle fighting league. The dude is such a badass. We bumped into each other for those of you who, who know our story. And uh, it was pretty, pretty awesome to catch up with him. Cause he was living with me and everything. And he was teaching me striking and trying, because I've taken jujitsu for years, years but he was teaching me striking because I can't strike with a dam. But if I get you on the ground, it's all over. And I'm proud to be able to do that. But the whole point is to avoid fighting. But it was good to meet up with, with Nick again. Nick Rados. Um, yeah, I really miss that guy a lot. He used to be in a few of our videos, guys. Just a really good dude. A veteran. He was always on the front lines. Um while the war was really going off in, in, in Afghanistan and Iraq and whatnot. The dudes are just as tough as they come. As I said, like he went from mixed martial arts, wearing gloves that only protect your knuckles to fighting in the bare knuckle fighting league. And Chris Lieben was one of his coaches. Do you guys know who uh, Chris Lieben is? I'm a huge fan because that guy can take a beating and still just knock you the hell out after he's been just beat up. That guy's amazing. The guy's head is probably like a size 13 hat. Okay, we're on Moon Ridge Road right now, guys. We're gonna extend this drive a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I bumped into Nick at CVS Pharmacy and right when I saw him, he was like, let's squash this, bro. <laughs> and so, yeah, we talked for quite quite some some time. He hadn't seen my Big Bear Weather and More beanies yet, and uh, he was proud proud of me. And yeah, I just really really miss miss that guy in my life. So that's the story of Nick Rados, of what's happened recently. Yes, my big brother, it just started snowing about 45 minutes ago to an hour. It transitioned from rain to sleet to snow. Super beautiful up here now. We're not gonna get more than an inch of snow, but it's really, really gorgeous up here. And thank you for sending me that adorable video, man. That makes my day every time. And I'm making a video live while I'm sending you this text right now. So I'm gonna explain to my, my people what you sent me. Anyway, I love you, brother. I will talk to you later. Thanks for checking in on me as always. I hope you're having a beautiful day. So that's my, my best friend, Curtis, who owns that company, Blue Concentrates, B-L-E-W, in the green industry. Such a good dude. Um, doing so well, like I'm so proud of him. And uh, he, he has a, a squirrel that has become friends with him at his house and the squirrel like comes in and takes food out of his hand and sits on his lap and stuff it's the funniest thing ever it's so cute so he sends me videos of that it's so adorable makes my day it really does because that's just just seeing nature and our side of nature just coming together like that is so beautiful the last video that i'm uploading right now there was a lot of snow missing at that golf course and now there's a there's it's it's all filled in again. Wow. One of you guys just sent me a $50 cash app. I'm telling you guys, man. Thank you so much. Holy moly. Holy freaking moly. Thank you. 
I couldn't see the name. It's just it popped up saying $50 cash app donation. Brian, my brother, I can't answer the phone. I'm making one of the videos for my channel right now. You got my text from yesterday, correct? And how are you doing? Okay. You know what I think? I might, I might do. It's gonna be pretty treacherous, but we're gonna go up to the sledding location for you guys real quickly. Coming down, I'm a little nervous about, I'll tell you that much. But we're coming up to the beautiful Bear Mountain. Oh my gosh, this, right when you come around that little corner right there and see this, it's just so beautiful, especially driving through neighborhoods to get here and then it's just blah, blah. That's the sound it makes right when you come across that corner, blah. Oh, I love it. I freaking love it. I miss working there a lot, you guys. It was such a great place to work. I have a friend who lives in here. Lucky, lucky bastard. What a lucky bastard. Right on the slope. He's a young guy and it's like, he's like kind of taking time off right now. So that's gotta be nice to have a place right on the ski slope while you're not working. <laughs> At least he's not working full time, if I recall. So the dude's done well for himself. Couldn't be more proud of him. And we're almost to the sledding location that I always send you guys to. Once you get to the top here, it's right here on the left-hand side. This whole area, this whole entire area. Yes, there's big rocks at the bottom right here, but not on this part. This is where I prefer you guys to go up that way so you have plenty of time for your kids to hit the flat part and not get like run over by these rocks. This is a big place to park right here. Be careful though, it's quite a drop off. If your car is not elevated at all, off the ground at all, then you can bottom out easily. And we gotta be careful. But there's people sledding here right now, guys. This is great. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna back into this parking lot on a thick part of the cliff, which we are getting close. So we're just gonna... So you'll see some park benches right here and this big sign that says, welcome to South Shore. Oh, now we're gonna head back down. What is that sound? It sounds like there's something wrong with my, with my exhaust. I probably got snow up in there. All right, here we go. Wish us luck going down. Let's roll down the window right here so you guys can see a little better. This whole area, you guys, prime for sledding. But I want you guys to see, this is super steep, so I'm a little nervous, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. All righty then. Oh yeah, this is handling no problem. This vehicle with these snow tires is unreal, guys. Like there's, even when you intentionally try to get loose, it, it's not easy. So I'm, I have to say I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed to have this, this setup that I got. And it makes me feel really comfortable, but you still gotta be super vigilant no matter how comfortable you are in these conditions. Cause I'm very comfortable in these conditions. I never get nervous at all. As I said, this is the neighborhood that my friend lives in, right on the ski slope. Roll down the window a little bit so you can really see, like right on the ski slope. Can you believe that, you guys? That's crazy. So we're gonna turn right on Gold Mine and go around to Moon Ridge on the other side. 
Here's the Bear Mountain parking lot. Hardly anyone here. I know it still looks like a lot of people, but it's not. Because of my, uh, whatchamacallit, the defrosters, my phone is getting super hot. I'm worried it's going to shut off because of overheating. Not because of the camera feature, but because it's getting blasted by the defroster. So nice to see people smiling out here, sledding, just having a blast. That's what it's all about, you guys. <clears throat> That's what it's all about. Create those great memories and people building a snowman out there, young kids. That's awesome. That's the golf course. But we're going to pull over here for a moment. I got to make a phone call and then we'll get going again. Okay, guys? Okay, let's get going. You know what? I know this video is already really long. Yeah, we'll just get back home. No, we're going to go up into Upper Moon Ridge, see how much more snow they got up here. It's dangerous to go up here in these conditions, you guys, because the roads coming down are just not fun. But we're going to test the car out again. There's one part of this road, Sheephorn, that gets pretty scary. It's not a big piece of it either. It's like a 25 yard up, like a turn, turn to the left, but it is so steep. And when I get my other car back, we'll do Moonloaf. I just don't want to screw up this car, you guys. So we'll do Moonloaf when we uh, get my other car next week. My other Subaru will be ready. My 2019 Crosstrek, the one that I crashed. I can't believe I'm going to have two Subarus and two really nice Subarus, too. This is the most elite, top-of-the-line Subaru that they make. This one that I'm driving. It's called the Touring XT. It has a turbo, it has this, it has that, leather seats, everything. Sunroof, cameras, like everything. It's freaking awesome. So we're getting to what's supposedly the tougher part of this street because it's really steep right here. And we're handling it like nothing. Here comes the, the left turn right here. This is what I talk about that gets really gnarly. Look at this. So let's see, are we even gonna slide at all? Nothing, <laughs> it's nothing. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So since we climbed up here, we're finally at 32 degrees. those of you who haven't been watching the channel for more than like three months my cross track has a really loud exhaust hopefully that doesn't annoy you guys but for the deep snow videos that's the vehicle that I'm gonna be taking because I don't want to deal with uh, I'm gonna turn right here on Luna I don't want to deal with this car getting all screwed up but of course if I wasn't getting that car back we'd be driving this always for everything Whoa, those are some big sleep pellets coming down. Holy moly. Look at the size of those things. Listen to it smashing the car. Holy moly. What? What is going on here? Look at that. Just in that two seconds, it's everywhere on the front of my car. Oh my gosh. 
This is not hail, you guys. This is sleet slash grapple. It's not hail. Hail is associated with thunderstorms. I know we do have some thunderstorms in the area, but I can assure you this is all winter weather related. This is not hail. You can get hail when it's 100 degrees. It's because of massive updrafts, which keep blowing the rain back up into the high clouds, freezing it, and then they keep, oh shit. How are we gonna get around? I guess we're gonna fig figure it out. We got it. Yeah, guys, see, this road is super dangerous. It's super dangerous. You wanna be, like, if you don't have to take this route, I, well, it's hard. If you guys like the snow and you come up here, you do not wanna have an, an Airbnb in Upper Moon Ridge. I'm sorry to all you Airbnb owners up here. I just want these guys to be safe. You do not want to deal with this. This is so steep right here. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's the, what's the, what's the scenario? We are on a street called Butte. So we went up to Upper Moon Ridge and then came right back down the other side. So we made it through what I consider to be the toughest part, and we did it with no issues whatsoever. That was amazing. It doesn't look that steep, you guys, but you saw that one car stuck there. It's steep. Wow, this sleet is freaking heavy right now. This is the turn you need to be very cautious as well because cars come blowing through here. And it's hard to stop on this slope right here. We're gonna take another steep route right here, or left here, I should say. We're on Villa Grove right now, but now we're turning left on Silver Tip, and this can be pretty treacherous as well. not in this bad boy. Don't speak too soon, Nick. Yeah, I think I'm getting a bunch of snow in between my, my wheel well, and that's what that sound is. Because there's no warnings or anything. Well, there's a lot of warnings right now, but I think none of them are significant. All right, now we're heading back to Moon Ridge Road. We are on sunset right now, and when we get to the stop sign and go straight, it turns into Moon Ridge Road. Well, that was a cool little tour of the Big Bear Lake and Fonskin part of town. a little bit. There weren't any cars around me. That was fun. Okay, we're coming up to the roundabouts. Ooh, sorry, buddy. how much snow is already it looks like we got that inch already that I thought we would get so keep coming mother nature bring it on I want these guys to come up here and enjoy themselves enjoy themselves yeah I love making these videos for you guys you guys make me so happy you guys are such amazing people
fire department truck. Sweet. There's Apple's. Apple's bed and breakfast. They have themed rooms. Seems like a really nice place. I'm gonna have to stay there sometime, but that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like cruising with me. Sorry about sometimes getting a little irritated with things, but I am only human. Um, at least I call myself on it. Take care. January 10th, 2022, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Snowing like crazy and sleeping. <laughs>